also your local internet service provider promise you blazing fast internet and while they delivered in the sense that you have no issues streaming all the 4k netflix you want you are still waiting around seemingly forever when you have to upload a video or a photo so why is that upload and download speeds are so often so different like you know driving in reverse directions during rush hour so it's like this visualize the internet connections coming into your house as a pipe that's only so wide in other words there's a limit to how much data it can carry at one time your isp selections of the pipe to accommodate different services for example if you have a dsl connection part of the pipe will be reserved for phone service while the other pipe is dedicated to internet data and if you have a fiber cable that part may also be dedicated to a cable tv signal but the gist of it is that service providers pull this off using different frequency for each type of data so your apple tv stream does not conflict with your charlie brown christmas special that you are watching on the cable and because the pipe can only let so much data through at once your provider has to make decisions about how much of it to dedicate to each service and in the case of internet that selection of the pipe actually gets further divided into two upstream and downstream data but even though there's only so much space in the pipe it's not like service providers out there are hunting for bandwidth for example let's say your internet signal comes over a plain old copper cable a relatively new standard called doxis 3.1 which is a revision of the original doxis standard that allowed broadband connections over the old school cable tv pipes supports up to 10 gigabits per second downstream and 1 gigabit per second upstream a packing more data into each frequency so there is clearly plenty of headroom in that old copper wire so why the slow upload speeds then well home internet first started becoming widespread in the mid 1990s user generated content like photos videos were not constantly being shared on facebook or google drive so if you were a internet user back in 1990s you are probably looking through your geocity pages on internet explorer 3.0 so at most you will maybe uploading small jpegs as email attachments and that idea that we are downloading far more than we are uploading has stuck around to this very day and that's actually true to a great extent you might watch plenty of 4k videos on amazon prime but how many of you are actually uploading 4k videos to social media probably not nearly as much so while internet providers do allocate more bandwidth to upload these days 10 to 20 megabits per second is pretty common right now it's quite a lot slower than the accompanying download speeds which are increasingly pushing into the triple digit range sometimes even not lower price plans when you've got multiple of devices attempting to upload at the same time you can quickly saturate an upstream connection customers are increasingly demanding for a fat upstream pipe for high res video calls and streaming their video games and uploading files to the cloud storage isps are taking notice and the new doxis 4.0 standard supports 10 gigabits both up and down also many fiber at home connections are offering symmetrical connection already by default where just as much of the pipe is dedicated to upload as it is to download it's also easier for the fiber providers to do this because light can carry much more data over a distance than copper so hopefully no matter where you are getting service you won't have to wait too much longer for a better upstream connection than that kid who's trying to climb up the down escalator at the mall so speaking of climbing if you want to reach that pyramid of technology then hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe